Many thanks to Jerb, DZ Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, Pandemonium, and Lion Lost for making this video possible. DZ Update 1.18 has just been released to experimental servers and it includes a freaking grenade launcher and IEDs. So, in this video, we're going to be checking out all that new stuff and everything else that's changed in this update. Obviously, starting with a new grenade launcher, it fires a new explosive ammo type and wipes, as you might expect, it blows stuff up. However, it also comes with four types of smoke grenade that work much like regular smoke grenades and a very awesome chemical explosive round. This chemical round allows you to create an area of gas that will give players the gas poisoning disease, <laughs> the same disease that you get from gas zones. This also comes in the form of a new grenade that explodes on impact and I guess works exactly the same as the chemical round for the M79. You can now craft IEDs, which are improvised explosive devices with the protector case and the electrical kit. Combine them together and you get yourself an IED starter kit, which you can then attach a grenade to, any grenade in DAISY, even the new chemical grenade or even the new plastic explosive. This explosive device can then be combined with a detonation unit to remotely detonate at the push of a button, or you can combine it with the alarm clock or the kitchen timer to explode when the alarm triggers. Again, this is an incredible addition to Daisy. The new plastic explosive can be combined with the detonator unit as well, and it does some crazy high damage. I almost died at this distance. This is the most explosive device in Daisy, yet to be tested on bases, but I'm sure it would do a lot of damage. Also, there's a Claymore mine, which works exactly like the plastic explosive. It appears to only explode when you click the remote, not by proximity. I did test it a few times, but I'm sure it will work like the tripwire does in the future. The final explosive is the firework box which you can place on the ground and then light with a lighter or a flame and then you can distract infected with it and you can distract players as well obviously too and it lasts about one minute. Armbands can now be crafted from flags and they keep their pattern to help make armbands very unique now. You can get three armbands per flag and it keeps the design here so you can easily identify your squad. The Derringer pistol is back in three different variants but this time it fires the 357 rounds instead of the 45 rounds. Gas canisters apparently explode upon destruction now, at least that's what it says in the patch notes, but they currently don't. I don't know how to get these exploding. I did try to shoot them, I put them in fireplaces against grenades, I even tried the new IED stuff on them too, I guess that's not in at the moment. The damage of cooking items has been halved, so the cooking pot will now last 50 minutes over a fireplace, and the cooking stand will now last 40 minutes when cooking. The revolver and the blades can now be sawed off, but if we know anything about the sawed off weapons it's that they're not worth really sawing off, so I will retest these sawed off weapon stats in this update. The sharpened stick will now cause bleeding like the spear does, so I'll retest that too, and the look of the spear has been changed. Like random heli crash sites or random police cars around the map, you can now find random trains around the maps too, that's on Livonia and Charnerus, which will contain better than average loot, so be sure to loot one if you find it, but no, we still can't drive trains. The incredibly annoying bug that removed your heads up display icons and wouldn't give them back has thankfully been fixed. Landmines are now exploding again once you shoot them, so if you shoot them to the ruined state, they will explode now. The placement of the sharpened stick when cooking now is not as broken as it was in the last patch. The third cooking slot on the stone oven used to cook your food twice as fast, but now all three slots will cook your food at the exact same speed. I've added the patch notes for Daisy Update 1.18 below if you want to read them, or you can pause the video and read them for yourself on screen. Now there are some huge changes in this patch, explosive changes you may say, and I'm sure the devs are looking for some feedback, so get in the comments and get your voice heard to make this patch the best it possibly can be. Thank you very much for watching, and subscribe for more Daisy 1.18.